I gotta let it go. 78 basketball pack, 57 vintage breaks. YouTube fans, hang with us. 3,000 plus videos. We're opening everything from 1955 Bowman, 54 Bowman football, uh, all the way down to 2015 SP game used hockey. All of it, everything in between. We even talk about music, we talk about sports, we talk about life. And we're about to open a 1978 basketball pack, looking for a whole bunch of great vintage basketball cards. I am shocked and appalled, Anthony. I don't know how, as my seat just fell. I don't know how we could have got away with that for almost 40 years. I heard it on 80s on 8 on, uh, on XM or Sirius, whichever, same thing. And they mentioned that. And when I heard it, I nearly pulled over, went to the side of the road, and almost threw my fists in the air. I think it was Cheryl Crow that said, when you're throwing punches in the air, right? Wasn't that like, uh, strong enough? Doug, don't you know this stuff? What was your major in college? Wasn't it like TV, radio, or something, radio, television? Sports journalism. Same thing. <laughs> you know? This chair just shrunk on me. I don't know what's going on with these chairs nowadays. They don't make them like they used to. What Banks card? Oh, the Banks card. i got to give that away. That Banks card is the $50 snapper that closed yesterday, I think, or two days ago. But we're going to get that taken care of. Uh, as soon as I get the 78 basketball pack, uh, randomed and, uh, and taken care of. Just like I don't care, Chef. That's it. I think I mentioned this uh, a few weeks ago. Some of my uh, most painful memories of college uh, were when I used to go to a bar right by my, uh, in town, and uh, I can remember, this is mid, early, early, early 90s, and they'd play Melissa Etheridge, and uh, I forget which song it was, but what would happen was, there'd be a bunch of fellas, a lot of women, and then all of a sudden, they put this song on and all the women would just start screaming out loud singing that song. And it was likely about some disdain for uh, for men. And we would just wither in, in the corner, try and hide under the bar, try to run out the door, but of course there was nowhere to go. And uh, a little scarred, a little, little uh, appalled and shocked. And then I come to find out that a lot of Richie made up the lyrics to that. So, I mean, you know, I don't understand. It's not right. It's not right. All right, Ivan, first card is yours under the gum. Let's get to it. I will say this, though. In protest, when I used to DJ parties, my fraternity parties, when I DJ, when I wasn't DJing, like, you know, like, you know I had to play some music. I would never play Melissa Etheridge. I refused to play Melissa Etheridge. The Duran Duran, I'm not sure. Uh, I missed, I mean, I loved Duran Duran when I was younger, but uh, I missed playing Duran Duran in college. I, 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 you know, unfortunately, here's Artis Gilmore. I got into college after the Arena album came out, which is Duran Duran's best album. And uh, that's for Greg. You know, it's small. Like I saw the slick move that Ted made. Very nice. Yeah, he's very because nice. he not only gets you know into the, the first sixer right, oh, yeah, yeah, at a yeah. hunch, mm -hmm. but also now there's only two more spots needed to basically trigger the special for the high end rate random sell now. Yeah, that's right. Schmop. So you know, you missed the whole uh, commotion here from the ocean. Well, the you remember all night long by Lionel Richie. I remember he sang the the uh, lyrics in there, Jumbo Jumbo and all that stuff. Yeah. Made up, not real. <laughs> I heard that on uh, Sirius XM. You know, really? 8, yeah, because it was the number one song in the land like, 35 <laughs> years ago last weekend. Huh. It was a ruse. It was made up. They sat there. He didn't have time to consult no way. with someone to say, hey, can you give me some real words here? So he just did He that. said, you know what? I'm just going to make them up. Dude, and I know are. But listen. Everyone loves them. Here's the problem. 35 years I sang that song. In my car, in front of other people. That's such a shame. And I thought it was real. You feel, you feel rude. Can you ask, can I, can I, can I let you do can, a you can sue? Class Talk action? Absolutely. Be class action. 
37 million people have affected. Dollar affected. each. Dollar each. Yep. Let's but the it. person running the class action, they do That's great. That's where they get money. Yeah. It's not right. Well, listen. Yeah, it's not right. I'm going to be wrong. Millie Vanilli, could, they actually tried to sing afterwards. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. It was Millie or, or was it Vanilli? Do you remember? Uh, Paul D., that's you? <laughs> Obviously, it was one of them that tried. What did I say? It was one or two. There's only two of them. It was Rob and Fab, remember? Yeah. Here's uh, Dwight Jones. No relation to Popeye, of course. It's five. Lloyd Free, six. For Greg. Here's Butch Beard at seven. Butchie. What's up, Butch? Charlie Chris, eight. Lucius Allen at nine. Lucius Allen. What's up, Luch? Alvin Adams, 10. Millie Vanilli is a pretty horrendous memory for anyone. Can't be Russell at 11. Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> Billy Paltz, 12. I'd say the 80s, as good as it was for music, there are some horrendous musicians that somehow made it big in the 80s and have scarred a lot of people's brains for many, many decades. Here's Richie Washington at 13. You know what I mean? Elmore Smith at 14. I heard Jam on it yesterday on the way home. The extended version, about uh, one in the morning in my car after I left here. It was uh, pretty amazing. Reminded me of uh, the 80s. Mars.